back to the media at some point. Uh, is that uh, after your second term, presuming you have a second term, or do you have other plans between, uh, between that and getting back into the media? You know, you, you never know. I'm always thinking about, well, why don't I go host the show? But I, I do have 11 and a half million people to kind of uh, be the governor of. So, no, I would, I would hope someday that I'll, you know, be back. I mean, we're all, you know, 80 is the new 60. So, you know, we'll see. And I, I can keep watching all these old dudes that are on TV and, you know, I don't know. I just enjoyed it. I, I had a lot of fun when I was, uh, when I was doing it. Uh, I like doing the, the television. I liked, uh, you know, I like writing my books, and uh, you know, you can write for newspapers. I, I don't know, but I don't expect to, you know, like go into some retirement place and just kind of just play golf all day. Although at times, that it, it sounds like that'd be, that'd be pretty good, right, Joe? Just golf every day. No, you, I get tired of it after two weeks. So we'll see. We have a. Uh... Governor, we have a strong Tea Party movement in, in Portage County where I live, and I, what's your feeling about the Tea Party? Uh, how, how are they uh, uh, working within the Republican Party, or uh, can you describe the, your relationship with them? Well, I, look, I'm concerned about many of the things that they're concerned about. You know, I offered this, we got this thing through the legislature working with, uh, with uh, Batch and with Favor on constitutional amendment to balance the federal budget. I intend to really more actively push that in other states. I mean, the debt is holding us back. The uncertainty about what we do about it is holding us back. Uh, as you know, I look at the market, I mean, one of the observations I make about the market is businesses are so uncertain about the future that they're either buying back stock or reducing debt, and the value of those companies have risen, but we're not seeing the kind of employment we're not seeing the kind of investment that we would normally see after the slowdown that we've had in the country. Um, so their concerns about that, you know, I, I'm right with them on it. And so I don't sort of look at Republicans and say, "Are you wearing a Tea Party shirt or whatever?" They're just they're just part of our party, and and they're part of a and not just part of our party. I don't think that the Tea Party is just connected to uh, Republicans. I mean, you know, anybody who's concerned about the growth of government the effectiveness of government, the spending that government has. And, and, and let me say that, um, you know, we all, we all are aware of people like de Tocqueville who wrote about the special nature of the United States, uh, driven by uh, values, faith, self-governing. And I think we have moved over time in my lifetime away from not totally, but in many ways, away from self-governing, trying to substitute rules, trying to substitute rules for what I think should be guided by our value system and individual and personal responsibility. You know, I talk maybe sometimes, I mean, I, I talk about faith, and um, I happen to believe that, that God's had some bad PR people here. And here's what I mean by that. To me, faith is about my responsibility as a person. It is, uh, you know, the two great commands were love God, love your neighbor. Um, the issues of personal responsibility, the issues of, of opposing too much materialism, and I believe this firmly, this idea that I gotta have more cars and more this and more that, and I'm gonna satisfy myself if I could just have more money, uh, it doesn't work. And you listen to some of the, the greatest people that have ever lived on this earth, and when they talk about the shallowness of, of you know, blatant materialism, uh, they'll tell you that at the end of the day, it's, it's a hollow, leaves them with a hollow life. Um, to me, faith is about not worshiping these false idols, which are Ferraris or big homes or, you know, or money for that matter. I think faith also means to me that I just got to realize it's the great Jewish tradition because we live in a, a Jewish and Christian culture is that, that we just had the loss of a great friend of mine, Gordon Sachs, a great, great Jewish leader, a great humanitarian, a dear friend of mine. Uh, he believed as those who represent our 
Jewish brothers and sisters that life is not just about me. It's about, it's really about something greater than just me. It's about folks that are hurting, people who live in these shadows. It's about mentoring. So to me, um, you know, the notion that government is not going to give us the satisfaction that we would all like to see in our society and culture today is something that not only resonates with me, but something I speak about. So this is this kind of gets to what I was saying when I stood up here at the beginning and didn't really articulate what I, what I meant to say about being overly cynical. We want our citizens, with the leaders in anything, in politics, in the media, in sports, it doesn't matter, to be able to articulate the skepticism, but also to give people a sense that their individual lives can make a giant difference in the way the world spins. Uh, I am working a little bit, not, not much, on another book. And, uh, and the book is, gonna, is, I think, going to be about the fact that nothing good is ever lost, and the, and the things that we do that we might think are insignificant really do matter. And I believe that going forward in this country, with the frustrations that many of us have about drug addiction and loneliness and broken families and people who just, uh, they just feel as though there's, there's no way out, we all have to be involved in that in one way or another uh, to, to try to improve this world. To me, it's, a, it's sort of like a, a great awakening. We, we need that in our country, and I think we need it in our state, and I'm going to do my darnest to work here over the next few years to see if we can, we can make some gains on this in a solid way, and I'm looking at mechanisms by which we can <coughs> have a way in which we can all engage and make a difference. And we said, I see young, a lot of young people here this morning. I mean, they want this. They want to be engaged. They want to make a difference. They realize the hollowness of, of materialism. So, you know, so these folks, I don't kind of look at divisions. You know, well, they're, what uniform are they wearing? Or, I mean, who's got time for that? And that's, and, and Dave, it, really, that's a kind of a political question, and those things come for me, to be honest with you.